Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Kamran and this channel is all about to show you how to become an IT pro really really fast. In this video, we will see how to create a Mac OS Big Sword lookalike with the KDE Plasma. I am using the Manjaro operating system with the KDE Plasma desktop. So without any further ado, let's get started. Most of the people use Linux based operating systems due to its customization. You can customize your Linux desktop like you can change the themes, wallpapers, icons, cursor and extra. On the other hand, the Mac OS provides a simple and the elegant look to its users. However, we can also get the Mac OS look on the Linux desktop as well. Creating a Mac OS Big Soul lookalike with KDE Plasma is consist of many steps. The first step is the initial settings. In this step, we have to perform some initial settings on our KDE Plasma desktop. So for this, first of all, you have to open up your application menu and open the system settings application. Application. In the workspace category, you have to select the workspace behavior option, select the desktop effects and you have to search here for blur. Alright, so now you have to click here to configure it and we have to minimize the noise strength value. So for this, I am dragging this button to the end. So now the noise strength is minimum and after that you have to click on OK. Now let's go back and select the windows management option. In the window behavior here, you have to select advanced you have to click on the window placement list and select centered here and now you have to click on apply now go to the task switcher and click on this list and select the large icons and click on apply now go to the KW in scripts and search here for force blur. We need this script to create the Mac OS Big Sword lookalike with the KDE Plasma desktop. So you can see that the force blur script is not available by default. So in order to get it, you have to click on get new script and in the search box, now you have to write force blur. This is the force blur script. Click on install. All right, the force blur is successfully installed. Now click on close and here you can see that we have got force blur. Select this script and click on apply. All right, the initial setting is performed and in the next step, we have to download and install the white sword theme on our Banjaro KDE Plasma desktop. So for this purpose, you have to open up your system settings application and now you have to go to appearance and select the global theme. Inside the global theme, you have to click on get new global theme. In the search box, you have to write white sword and hit enter in order to create the mac os big sword lookalike with kde plasma we need to install the white sword theme and we need to apply it on our desktop all right so here we have the white sword dark theme and white sword theme you can also install the white sword dark and you can also install the white sword so you have to select it according to your own preference i'm gonna go with the white sword theme so simply you have to click on install and now you have to select the option you wish to install from the list of downloadable items below. So select anyone according to your preference and click on install. Now you have to enter your password in the given field and click on OK. All right, so the white sword theme is successfully installed. Now let's close this window and here you can see that we have the white sword theme. So simply click on it and click on apply. All right, so now you can see that the white sword theme is applied globally and the theme of this window is also changed and you can see that the appearance of the minimize, maximize and the close button is also changed. After that, you have to click on the application style and click on configure Genome GTK application style. Now you have to click on get new Genome GTK application styles and for the application style, we have to get the the big sword theme so now in the search box you simply have to write big sword and hit enter and for the big sword application styles theme now you have multiple options like you have gtk blue dark theme purple red and the multiple themes are available here in the different colors so now you have to select the theme according to your own preference and click on install now let's close this window 
If you click on this list, you can see that you have the Big Sur original GTK blue dark theme. So simply select it and click on apply. Now go to the window decoration option and click on title bar buttons. So in case of Mac OS, we only have the minimize, maximize and the close button. So we have to remove the extra button from here. For the question mark button, you simply have to select and you have to draw a button here to remove it. And uh, similarly, you have to drag these buttons as well. And now let's drag this button to the left side. And this is our close button simply select it here and drag it all right so after that you have to click on apply now let's move on to our next point that is to install the icon theme and the cursor theme for the icon theme we need the mkos big sort theme and for the cursor theme we need the mac mojave cursors so simply you have to click on icons click on get new icons in the search bar right here mkos big sor all right so this is the mkos big sor theme for icons click on install all right so the mkos big sor icon theme is successfully installed and now you can see that we have the mkos big sor icon theme here so you simply have to select it and then click on apply it is now updating some system configuration. It will take a couple of minutes. And you can see that uh, the icons are changed. And now you have to click on get new cursors and then search here for Mac Mojave cursors. This is the Mac Mojave cursors. Click on install. All right, it is successfully installed. Close this window, go back here. And now you can see that we have the Mac Mojave cursors here. Simply select it and click on apply. All right, so it is now applied successfully. Now go back to your system settings and click on startup and shut down and select white sore here if it is not selected and then click on apply. Enter your password in the given field and click on OK. All right, so it is now applied. All right, so now the next step is to install and configure the Coventum Manager. Coventum is the theme engine for Qt4 and Qt5 and KDE. So for installing it, you have to click on your application menu and you have to search here for add or remove a software. Select add or remove software option. Click on the search icon and uh, search for Keventum Manager. All right, so this is the Keventum Manager application. Click on install and click on apply. Enter the password in the given field and click on OK. It shows the different packages that will be downloaded. So simply see the information and click on apply. All right, the Keventum Manager is installed successfully. Now you have to click on your application menu and search here for Keventum. Click on it. All right, so this is the Keventum Manager. And next, we have to download the theme for Keventum. So simply open up your web browser and visit this link. On this link, we have the White Sword Keventum theme. If you scroll down a little bit and you will see the files section, click on files and download the white sword theme for that. So click on this button, click on download, choose the save file option and click on OK. All right, so this uh, theme file is downloaded in the downloads directory. So let's close your browser and uh, go to the downloads directory now. This is the white sword theme for Coventum Manager. Right click on it and click on extract, extract uh, the file here. All right, so the file is extracted successfully. Now let's close the downloads directory and this is the Coventum Manager. Click on select a Coventum theme folder, go to the downloads and uh, this is the white sword theme folder. Select this folder and click on OK. And now you have to click on this button, install this theme. The theme is installed. Now you have to click on change or delete theme. And uh, from the list, you have to select white sword. Click on use this theme. All right, so now you can see that the theme is applied successfully. And now you have to click on configure the active theme, go to the compositing and the general look. And here we have to increase the value of reduce window opacity and reduce menu opacity. 
in the reduce window opacity you have to select the value 5 or you can also select it according to your own preference and in the reduce menu opacity you have to select the value 15 but you can also adjust it according to your own style now click on save and uh, close the Quantum manager now the next step is to install the plasma widgets on desktop you have to right click and select the add widget option you can download any type of widget here and we also have some available widgets here so for example if you want to download or get a new widget then you have to click on get new widget download new plasma widget and uh, from here i'm gonna download the launchpad plasma menu this is the launchpad plasma menu click on install choose any of the option and click on install it is installed successfully and similarly you can install the application title latte sidebar latte spacer latte separator better inline clock inline battery and many more but it all depends upon your choice now let's close this window and the next step is to install and configure the latte dock the latte dock help us to arrange our icons at the bottom because in the mac os we have our dock at the bottom so for this we need to install and configure the latte dock in order to install it click on the application menu and search here for add or remove a software click on it in the search bar you have to write latte all right so this is the latte doc click on install and click on apply enter the password in the given field and click on ok all right the latte doc is successfully installed now let's close this window go to the application menu and search here for latte this is the latte doc click on it and you can see that the dock appears at the bottom and now we have to remove this panel so simply right click on it select the edit panel option go to the more options and click on remove panel all right so now you can see that the panel is removed and we have got a similar look like the mac os so now right click on your desktop and click on add widgets search here for launch pad this is the launchpad plasma widget simply drag it into your dock and you can see that the launchpad plasma is added to my dock if i click on it my application menu will be opened and now you can see that the icons are now changed and it is similar to the mac os and next we have to configure the desktop wallpaper so right click on it and select the configure desktop wallpaper option and you can see that we do not have the white sore wallpaper here so in order to get it you have to click on add image now go to the downloads and in the previous step when we were doing the configuration of the Caventum manager we downloaded the white sore theme package so simply click on it click on white sore svg file and click on open and you can see that the white sore images are added here so simply click on anyone and click on ok and you can see that the wallpaper is applied successfully and similarly this wallpaper is also applied on the lock screen and if I click on lock screen and on the lock screen you can also see that the wallpaper is applied successfully so if I conclude this video in this video we have performed the initial settings we have got the white sword system theme we have got the big sword icon theme mac mojave cursor theme we have installed and configured the quantum manager we have installed the plasma widgets and then we have applied the themes on our system so let me just log in into my system again so now you can see that we have got the icons that are very similar to the mac os icons so this is how you can create a mac os big sore lookalike with the kde plasma i have chosen manjaro kde plasma desktop environment so that's it for this video if you really like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any feedback then let us know your feedback in the comment section if you have not subscribed to our channel then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our upcoming videos as well. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.